Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. What's going on? Senator has odd reaction when asked if tormenting GOP senators at restaurants is too far. I have a number of politicians I cannot tolerate. Somewhere near the very top of that list is Hawaii Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono. She clearly doesn't like men in general, is an uber leftist, and will do whatever she can to disparage President Trump and the Republicans. Hirono refused to answer pointed questions from Dana Bash on CNN's State of the Union on whether she believes that harassing and intimidating Republican senators in restaurants was going a smidge too far by the left. Silence is complicity in this case, I believe. I don't think Hirono has any problem with that at all. Bash started out on the segment by clearly defining what is a peaceful protest and what is harassment. The president, Republicans are saying Democratic protesters are, quote, an angry mob, she explained. What I want to ask you about, it is one thing to protest the Supreme Court at the Capitol. That's been done for generations and frankly since the founding of this country. It's another thing to run senators out of restaurants and go to their homes. Is that going too far? All I can say is good for Bash, she pleasantly surprised me over this. She's acting like a true journalist here. Of course, Hirono dodged the question. Instead, she ranted on about the testimony from Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. I think it just means that there are a lot of people who are very, very much motivated about what is going on," she said. What happened with Judge Kavanaugh from the very beginning, this is not a fair process. What the Republicans did was to telegraph after Dr. Ford's account came forward, what they telegraphed was, 1, Dr. Ford, we don't want to hear from you. 2, if we have to hear from you, we will rig the hearing. Dana Bash was not deterred by this sidestep and asked Hirono again. Should they be going after people at restaurants? Once again Hirono dodged the subject and instead went into the topic to white supremacists. That is a false talking point and she knows it. It has nothing to do with any of this. I'd say that's a very odd reaction to Bash's line of questioning. It's non sequitur. You look at white supremacists and all that, this is what's coming forth in our country, a tremendous divisiveness in our country, she said. This is the kind of activism that occurs and people make their own decisions. If they violate the law, then they have to account for that. What the heck was that? It doesn't even make sense. Hirono made the following comments on ABC's This Week yesterday following the Senate's confirmation of Kavanaugh, who was immediately sworn in as an associate justice. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, you called this process a sham. He is now Justice Kavanaugh. Do you view Justice Brett Kavanaugh as a legitimate justice? Hirono, he's going to be on the Supreme Court with a huge taint and a big asterisk after his name. And the partisanship that he showed was astounding. And the conspiracy theory that he accused us of behaving in was bizarre. So prior to his testimony I had already decided, having gone through all his record and his dissents that there was a pattern which showed that he was not for women's reproductive choice, that is sure. And a number of other patterns that were very troubling. And I had already decided. But with regard to this sham FBI investigation, everyone knows that when you just interview a small number of people and not the dozens of others who wanted to be interviewed by the FBI, that is a sham. And it raises more questions than it answers. Carl, okay. So this confirmation battle is over. He is just as Brett Kavanaugh. Do you really think the Democrats, should they win control of the House, should continue an investigation absent some new revelations? Hirono. The confirmation battle may be over but the court packing is definitely not over. So the Federalist Society, the Heritage Foundation, these two ultra-conservative organizations have spent decades preparing their people, like Judge Kavanaugh, for the Supreme Court and every other court for, for life. And in fact, just next week we're going to hear from two more for the Sixth Circuit. These are potential nominees. Carl, but do you want the investigation, do you want to continue an investigation? Hirono. I'm totally focused with all the angry women and the men who listen to women and support the credible accounts of sexual harassment and sexual assault, which is very underreported, that I'm focused like a laser beam on the elections. Because all of these angry people out there, they know that it is the people who are sitting in the Senate that they've elected who are making these decisions. And they're going to go to the polls and they're going to vote differently. Carl, can you rule out this idea of impeaching Kavanaugh? Hirono, well, it all starts with the House. Carl. But, but, but. Hirono, so, you know, I view so many of these things as basically, John, I don't blame you for wanting to ask these questions because I know as you tried to talk to Kellyanne, Conway, it's really hard to get a word in edgewise with her. But with this whole impeachment thing, you know what, 
I'm very focused on the here and now, which is that all of these very angry women, mainly, out there who saw what was going on and how the Senate was not able to deal fairly with the entire issue of sexual assault, clearly this idea that Dr. Christine Blasey, Ford was given, you know, all accommodation is really, I have to say, baloney, Carl, but you won't rule out impeachment. We've only had one justice. Hirono, Jerry Nadler, ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, is not ruling out impeachment, but... Carl, is that a mistake though? I mean, do we really want, after we just went through all this go through? Hirono, I'm much more focused on what we need to do which is we need to get to the polls, truly. Carl, okay. Also, you heard Kellyanne raise the issue of the protests, I want to show you something Marco Rubio tweeted just a short while ago. Can you imagine what Democrats and many in media would be saying if it was conservatives ambushing them at restaurants, confronting them at home, disrupting Senate hearings and votes with primal screams, now literally banging on the door of the Supreme Court building? They would call it a mob. So let me ask you, you mentioned the anger, the anger is real, but are these tactics? Hirono, well, they're very. Carl, do you approve of these tactics? Hirono, the anger is real. There are a lot of people who feel very, very strongly. And the Republicans seem to forget what happened during the passage of the Affordable Care Act where, believe me, the Democrats were the focus of the brunt of screams, coffins being left on our doorsteps, all of that. So I. Carl, yes, but do you approve of those tactics, whether they're, whether it's the Tea Partiers or whether it's the resistance? Hirono, people are making their own decisions because, as you know, in our country, Civil disobedience is very much a part of our country. And of course, if you go over the line, then you have to be held accountable. But people feel very strongly. That's what happens in our country. People felt very strongly about the Affordable Care Act back then. It's hard to believe that Hirono is a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. And we wonder why we have problems in Congress. This is one reason why. This woman should not be on any major committee. She is a radical and incites discord, chaos and violence. Listen to her words and you will see what I mean. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.